Hi uh, all, I mean, I'm here to uh, brief you on uh, how we do coding and programming in SAS environment. So basically as a programmer, if you're using SAS tool, SAS environment to implement your programming, there are various interactive windows that this tool, the software provides you. So basically if you want to write code, uh, there is a window called as a program editor or enhanced editor where you can write your code and submit that code for compilation and execution. Now if your code is throwing errors or warnings, that error or warning will be shown to you in, the, uh, in another editor called as log window. In case if your program compiles and executes successfully, it will show you the output in the output window. You can see the output in the traditional uh, SAS output window or you can generate interactive reports. You can write that output to various other uh, types of uh, formats like you can, you can generate an HTML report, you can generate an RTF report or a PDF report. So basically this environment helps you generating different types of reports for different types of people you know, having different requirements. So this results are highly interactive and can give you a very meaningful insight of your data. And this can really help the top management taking better strategic decisions. In case while typing the code while writing your program, if you make some mistake, uh, that will be immediately highlighted by uh, the SAS editor. So whenever you type keywords, they automatically turn to blue color. Whenever you misspell the keywords, it will turn to red color. If you're using some function or predefined subroutine, it will be shown to you in some predefined color. So it will appear in pink color also. So it's, it's very interactive uh, and interesting to work in this particular programming environment where programmers can quickly uh, write their code and it's easy to debug, you know, when they're using this particular environment. There are various predefined libraries and packages available which will help you uh, which will guide you at every uh, point of time. So if you stuck somewhere, you can use the SAS help uh, that, that could be the online help or the inbuilt help which has been embedded within SAS application which will uh, help you writing your code easily and quickly. One can also create their own libraries and store all the data sets that they need for their analysis. Once after creating the data set, you can easily apply various procedures which are there in SAS environment on those data sets and you can generate your reports. Uh, you can also uh, make those reports permanent by storing them in various destinations like PDF, RTF or Excel or XML or various other formats. You can, you can browse through the inbuilt libraries which are available in SAS and you can use them for some testing purpose or if you just want to learn the SAS syntax or upgrading your knowledge to SAS syntax and just want to have a quick overview or uh, implementation on those existing repositories. So one reason why we generate uh, uh, reports in various other formats I mean other than SAS is so that we can review those reports even when the SAS environment is not up. So when you generate the reports in I mean using various output uh, delivery uh, destinations like PDF or RTF or TXT, your managers can review those reports even without starting the SAS environment. So that's one important reason why we generate the reports in these formats. You can also uh, uh, you can also refresh the reports if, if they are generated in SAS environment. So in case if there is a change in your data, you can it will immediately reflect those changes in your reports. So it's, it's always an up-to-date report. So at no point of time, your report will show you the obsolete data. So this, this helps the top management taking better and quick strategic decisions. There are some additional windows in SAS environment which will help you for some of the other tasks. So you can create and store your information. You can view and change functions and settings. You can view and change some SAS system options. For example, if you want your report to have page numbers on every page, you can set some global option to uh, show you the page number or the current date and time. There are various other options like you can, you can set a title for that, you can, you can set a footnote for that and those will be applied to all the pages that your report has generated. Thank you.